Okay, so today I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk about a scorned lover. Mm. Okay. Uh -oh. So we all know Drake is a lover boy, but did we know he gets petty after relationships end? So the Canadian rapper had a long time will they, won't they situationship with Barbadian artist, um, businesswoman Rihanna in the 2010s. <laughs> so just this month, Drake dropped his eighth studio album for the dogs and he had a lot to say um about bad gal riri in several songs the rapper allegedly sends subliminals about her and her man asap rocky rapping it's better him than me and he, basically he's saying her new boo like can't leave her like he did so of course this is all speculation because it's not confirmed but um if you're a drake fan you know he likes to sneak disses into his music so we I'm asking, like, do you guys believe he has a right to talk about his past relationships in this manner? Or are we telling him to let it go? Because it's been seven years. She's moved on. Oh, my goodness. Drake. What do we think? What do uh, we think? I, what do we think? And you know what? We have two artists in the room. We so do. Is that something that you guys would do is sneak disses? To yeah, your let's, let's talk about it. We talk, we're going to talk about it. Go ahead. We're going to talk about it because if, if you really follow Drake, the reason why he became so big is because he was open about his relationships with women, um, his uh, his relationships yes. with other artists, being an artist, like nobody kind of believed in him, and it made him to who he is. Now people don't like the, the album, excuse me, because he's not back to telling his story. Mm. Like he has a child now. You're not talking about what's the relationship with like with his child's mother. You know, where are you at with dating? You know, he last album, he did Serena Williams' boy, uh, husband, you know, mm -hmm. because they had an issue or whatever. So he's just not really doing it the way people want him to. So, so he's, go ahead, sorry. No, what's the question? So no, the question is just like, I mean, what do we think about it? Should he be talking about it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like mean, he's, he's basically not doing what he used to do. And I absolutely would talk about it because it's kind of part of who you are. You know, like my last album that I'm going to, put out soon is called you know this is not a love story right mm -hmm. and it talks about a lot of things that happened within the last two years of my life and i have to talk about it so but that's the last two years this is from seven years ago this was in the 2010s right everybody's well, I mean, different i think it's important to okay like they're in the industry you have chris brown mm -hmm. who was with rihanna asap rocky right drake like when you're in a room together it's very awkward she was with all of you guys well, well, she was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not like it, and it was public. It was not like it was a secret. She was with everybody. And I'm not saying Whoa. it like. <laughs> listen, listen, YouTubers, when you see this, you, you feel what I'm saying. What I'm saying is she was with everybody Junior individually says at Rihanna that time. Was with everybody. <laughs> Whoa. And she wasn't with me, though. She wasn't with me, though. So I just think that, no, I think it's fair game as an artist. You want to talk about what's happening. People want to know who, who you are, what so, it's about. So I agree. I, a lot of artists talk about what's happening in their own lives and, you know, their love situations and their love it's stories. Fair so, I game. Mean, does he have to go so hard at her? Like, does he have to be so aggressive? Does he have to say these mean things about her? I mean, what was he, mean that he said? He, I'm not, I don't want to say that's, it on yeah, air. Oh, and she was a good lover? Want, yes. Oh, well, okay. Maybe she wasn't. But why does he have to put that out there for everyone to know? But that's who he, that's what made him who he is. He talks about his life. I feel like he was known for like being a lover boy and now he's mm -hmm. being like a hater. So well, See, let's, you put, let's, you let's put hear yourself what, let's, hear, let's, city boy. let's hear what you guys have to say, <laughs> say about it. Me and Junior obviously <laughs> have what do you think, opinions Deuce? on it. I'll turn it over to Deuce. Yeah, yeah, he don't want to get no fire. <laughs> Deuce, I, go I first. I don't want no smoke. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, to me, I think everyone has their, they're entitled to their own opinion. I think it's, um, if you look at Drake, he's been consistent over time. He is King Subliminal. I mean, facts. I've just known that just from listening to him, his music, and just when the whole thing with him and Pusha was going on, I knew who he was talking about because I, I listened to Pusha and I listened to him and then I listened to Kanye and I know what was going on there. And I was like, yeah, this is what we doing right now. Mm -hmm. That's th that's how I mostly listen to Drake albums. I always find myself saying this is what we doing right now. But that's that's him. He's he's consistent with that. Is he talented? absolutely yes of course the man is talented but you know that's his way you know every now and then he'll, he'll drop a little subliminal on you he just wants you to know he know 
Okay. So, no, you, so you, 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 if you, would you do it? Would you do it? N- uh, nah, that's not my style. Okay, so you wouldn't do it though. That's what. That's the not my style. Would you do? It? Okay. Yeah. Is that your style, Deuce? It's not, but unfortunately, that's the age we live in. Where it's mm-hmm. like I feel tell that. all, you know, people almost listen to albums just to find the, the, the controversy. Drama, the yeah. Controversy. Yeah. And mm. the, and and unfortunately, some of the best albums were made off of controversy. Exactly. Yeah. It's just not a good look for him, in my opinion. It's not a good look that he's talking about Riri like that. But I mean, yeah. he's talked about he's talked about other women before. I, I, it's not going to kill his career. No, but I mean, he's talked about other women before, sure. But I mean, she has such like a high caliber. She's in the same industry as him, so mm-hmm. that's going to make the room even more awkward when well, when they're in that room together. Obviously, because he solid. didn't have to say anything. So what really happened between those two? That's the question for him to just be so salty after all these years. Yeah, salty. That's what it is. He's yeah. salty about it. And that's why it's not a good look. He's <laughs> what if the song was an older song and they just decided to put it out? What if it was like he did a song like three years ago? It still is not a good look that he's talking mm-hmm. about her okay. like that, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, okay. The lady has spoken. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> uh, She's standing on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, uh, that's, oh that, that's interesting. That's interesting. I love um, it. I love it, man. Hey, is it that time to swing right into the Francois? Or be let's, taking do the it. Man. let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Let's go.